Hey everyone, thanks for coming out to this quick video on mosaic plots. Very fun. Now remember the mosaic plots I've been using with Chi Square. So uh, in my courses, if you do a final project, which you're supposed to do, you have to make a graph. So this is great with what we call um, Chi Square test. So I made a thing, and you're probably going to see that separately on immigration. So if you look at it, immigration, it pops up right here. Boom. So it basically, let me put up my history down here. You basically get, you know, Trump supporters, immigration. This is support for immigration. Trump supporters, 32, uh, no, 68. Biden supporters, 84, yes, 16, no. But the question is, instead of getting into the chi-square part of it, how do we do a mosaic plot? But a little more advanced, and not that much more advanced for, say, a good project, not just for a final project, but also, let's say you're just doing a paper, you want to wow someone, you're in an honors uh, course, and you have a thesis or something like that. So basically, we have immigration. Now, this is the default. This isn't GG plot, but this default is pretty good. Uh, just do MOS, MOS, you get that thing. So now you know it's immigration. Right, that's the data set that we're using. There are no like pluses or piping in in this case. It's just commas within the um, the parentheses. So we have immigration. As we see up here, what do you want to call it? So in the default, it's just called main equals. So here you go. I just copied and pasted it, but main equals. But if you notice... If you when you stop doing your project, main equals, and then you just put it in. And what's pretty cool too is you look at it and you see Trump supporters, Biden supporters. So that's the y axis. So what it's called is y lab, right? Equals, let's just say, uh, uh, let's say support Trumpers and what Bideners. I don't know what you would call someone who likes Joe Biden. I don't know if many people do like Trump or Biden anymore. Let's correct that right there. Oh, now you've got the X lab across. So this should be yes or no. Let's make sure I got this right. So not saying X. So let me do this. Oops. It depends on how it goes. It's saying X. You, you have to do it a few times, right? So Y lab, what did I put over here? Let's take a look. Y lab, I just wrote yes or no. So that's fine. Yeah, I think it would look better. No or yes. Okay, now notice I go color, right? Any color you want equals i did let's see two colors that are nice let's see let's go let's go a nicer color what's a nice color purple purple and what's a nice color the nice color just like that guy that used to do that on pbs he used to paint what was that guy's name all right mr rogers so you've got purple and what's a nice color make this color the cloud a nice cloud color. Okay, we'll do pick. And there you have it. A pretty nice graph with very minimal code. Take a look. Mosaic plot, that's it. Notice there's no pluses or nothing. Remember, this is default. There's no pluses. There's no piping in. So immigration, main equals support for immigration. It comes up here. And you can change the font. I don't know if it's necessary. It looks fine to me. Comma, outside, X lab, support. Okay, I see why it did, because it came up here. I, I thought it looked like this, but it actually doesn't. It goes up here. Support for Trumpers and Bideners. And then uh, Y going down, as you remember, the Y axis, no yes, yeah, so no yes. Uh, so pretty nice plot, and that's really it. And for the our final project or any project you do, you can do that. And even if you have more, say, Trump supporters, Biden supporters, Green supporters, which I'll do, 
you can just do, you know, it'll just look with that, you know, Trump supporters, Biden, and then green supporters, and it'll be the same. But that's a pretty just nice looking graph for a final project, just to illustrate something uh, on any subject that you could use chi-square. And we also could use the mosaic plot for other things, which, um, you know, if you do a GLM, you could actually use a, a um chi-square for that. Uh, I'm sorry, a mosaic plot for that. So that's one way to uh, create. I'm going to do a series of these different uh, plots, but the other plots will be done with ggplot and plotly. Take care, everyone.